Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract with pterygium. And in this case, we are going to do combined pterygium surgery and phacomalsification for this intumescent cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye should touch all parts of the anterior capsule. And now, this is a bit of adrenaline. Then the dye is washed out with BSS or ringolactate. This is a 23 gauze stinko camera. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with a viscoelastic substance. This is 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. I always use only methyl cellulose for intumescent cataracts. I do not use sodium hyaluronate or chondroitin sulphate. And now my plan is to do a small rexis first. With the help of this uterator, I could do this. And now through this opening, I will aspirate some lens matter. With the help of the Simco cannula, 23 gauze Simco, I am aspirating some lens matter. And as we remove some lens matter, the intralenticular pressure goes down. And we can easily enlarge these small rexes and do an optimum size rexis. Margin of the mini rexis is cut, it uh, forceps is taken again and an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter is done. And now some more visco. And now I am going to excise the pterygium. In this case, I am not planning to do a graft. So the pterygium is being operated by bare sclera technique. This is a Eulerly patient and the pterygium is stationary, rather regressive. In such cases, we can do bare sclera technique as the primary surgery. Recurrence is very less in such cases. And if it happens, we can always do a graft for the recurrent pterygium. I can do conjunctival autograft. So, I have removed some portion of tenon's capsule under, underneath the pterygium. Now I am removing the pterygium portion of the pterygium which is over the cornea and it came out very nicely in this case. There is no pacification of the cornea underneath the pterygium in this case and it is very clear. Note that we have removed the pterygium just by two tooth forceps. We have not used any blade. This is called pterygium rexis, tear off the pterygium from the cornea. And when we do that, we do not remove any corneal tissue. We just remove the pterygium. 
but if we use a blade we can remove a portion of the cornea Bowman's membrane and superficial stroma can be removed if we use a blade so better not to use any blade just by forceps if we pull it if we do pterygium rexis it becomes ideal surgery and now I am going to manage the nucleus the fecundatal goes in some air bubble came out because it was in the tube I use aspiration to remove the air bubbles and now I divide the nucleus by direct chop hold the nucleus with vacuum and chop it rotate the nucleus chop it another place the free nuclear fragment can be emulsified now itself or it can be emulsified later in this case I am emulsifying the pieces as I am making it free from the main mass so most of the nucleus has been removed this is the last piece at this time the parameters are reduced vacuum and flow rate are reduced for emulsification of the last piece this is the last few bits of nucleus one nuclear piece is at the left side to remove that first it should not get lost under the iris so with the help of the simco bring it near the main wound depress the posterior leap of the main wound and it comes out and then I remove the cortex cortex all around is removed going through the main wound and sub cortex is removed going through the side port so cortical cleanup is done some fibers are there but the posterior capsule is clear and this is polishing of the posterior capsule and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens I made a side port at around 8 o'clock, enlarged the main wound, implanted the intraocular lens, keeping the antechamber formed by irrigation. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is in the capsular bag. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. And now I'm going to do some more cleaning go through the side port we just made and there was some cortex at 12 o'clock that was removed nicely and now I remove the air bubbles as well as 
whatever visco was there in the anterior chamber. The 8 o'clock side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma and now this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is thoroughly irrigated and aspirated. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. And now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now all the wounds are nicely sealed, but there is a tissue tag here with the cornea. I'm going to remove that. Yes, it is nicely removed. Few drops of. This is a crescent blade which is being used to polish the corneal surface. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will guide you whenever you want to do combined pterygium surgery and cataract surgery. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.